Hello everybody, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making number 150 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. I can't believe it, 150! This is so exciting! And I uh, just want to thank uh, Jalen for writing this pattern today. It is called Easy 8 and you can get the uh, written pattern linked at the bottom of my blog. If you're a newcomer to this uh, project, welcome! Uh, you can check out all those links in the description of this video there is a link to my blog yarnutopia.com where you'll get all 365 days of granny squares and at the bottom of the blog there are some squares that do have written patterns so you'll see today is number 150 on the bottom there and it will be called easy eight by Jalen and you can click that get the written pattern follow along today we are ending this square at round six but you can go on to reading a written pattern and uh, make your square as big as you want. She has it up to a 12 inches, so that's fantastic. This one is such a simple square. It worked up so fast for me. We are just using double crochets, so it's super simple. Um, I guess round one we're using a single crochet, but then the rest of the pattern is all doubles. Uh, this pattern, I am using all Red Heart Super Saver yarn today. I decided to go with blues. I don't know why. I'm not really feeling blue. I'm feeling really happy today, so... <laughs> but uh, this is... A 10 ply yarn. I'm just using scraps. You can obviously see here there's some small amount of scraps that I have available. Uh, you can use any scraps that you have available. This is a 10 ply yarn which is worsted weight. You can use any double knitting or worsted weight yarn that you have. We're also using an H size hook in this demonstration. And also the written pattern calls for an H size hook, so if you want to use a 5mm that will be perfect. We are also using a yarn needle and a scissor because we'll be cutting our yarn and sewing in our ends. I'm changing color quite often in this, but you can use as many colors as you want in this pattern. That is creator's choice. Uh, before I start, I do want to mention there are other links in the description of this video. Uh, so you can check out the link to my Facebook. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, like my page, and share your photos. I am loving seeing all your your photos every single day. So share your photos in the comment section of today's post of your square and show me what color combinations you come up with. I'd love to see that. Also uh, share or check out the other link. I'm sorry I'm like all distracted today. Make sure to check out that link to my Instagram. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and uh, share your photo on Instagram by hashtagging 365 days of granny squares and hashtag yarn utopia so that I can see your work. I want to go double tap your photo photos and comment on my faves and make sure you're double tapping my photos as well and follow me on snapchat you guys snapchat is the coolest thing you guys can see behind the scenes clips of what we do here at yarn utopia headquarters aka my home and my personal life so you guys can become my friend there and uh, i want to thank my dad Fuad Azmat, for taking the time out to make these videos with us he's our videographer editor and photographer for all of our videos so make sure you give him a shout out and um subscribe to our channel here on youtube just click that red subscribe button. So let's just get started in making number 150 granny square. To start off, let's make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold that down and then pull that through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can start. So to start off, let's chain four. So yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through, three, and four. And now we're going to go way over into this first chain that we made and make a slip stitch. So insert your hook, go right into that first chain, then yarn over and pull it through that and through the loop on your hook. Okay, that creates a ring. So we'll be working round one into this ring. If you know how to make the magic ring, you can do that as well, but I'm just gonna do it this way. And now we need to go on to round one. We're going to chain up one. So yarn over and pull through, one. Now we're going to make eight single crochets into this ring here. So insert your hook into the ring, then yarn over and pull it through. And then, let me get this straggler out of the way here, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's a single crochet. So that was one. Go back into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's two. Insert your hook into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's three. This is 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, you can see I was working over the top of the straggler, so I can kind of pull it tight, and I was working in the round in a circular form. So now you want to come back eight and go into this very first single crochet here. Okay, not this chain up one right here, but actually into the single crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and through for a slip stitch. Okay, so that was round one, super simple. Going on to round two, if you want to change color, you can fasten off here and then start in any single crochet around for round number two. But I'm just gonna keep the same color and I'm going to chain up three, so yarn over and pull through one, two, and three. And that counts as our first double crochet of this round. And now we're going to put a double crochet into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and chained up three in. We're going to yarn over, go into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. So now it looks like there's two double crochet into that same stitch because this chain of three counts as a stitch, like I said. So now we're going to chain one, so yarn over and pull through one. And then we are going to put two double crochet into uh, the next stitch. So right in here, we're going to yarn over, go right into this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, again, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we need to chain one, so yarn over, pull through, and then put two double crochet into the very next stitch. So we're just gonna repeat this all the way around. So two double crochet into the next stitch, then chain one, so yarn over, pull through, and then put two double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so you'll have eight chain one spaces at the end of this round, and you will have 16 double crochets. So I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round three together. When you're finishing this round, make sure to chain one and slip stitch to the very first chain up three of this round here. One, two, three. Insert your hook right in there, then yarn over and pull it through, and then pull through that loop. Okay, for a slip stitch. Now in this next round, round three, uh, if you are not changing color, slip stitch into this next stitch and into this chain one space and then chain up three and go on to round three with me. But I'm actually going to fasten off here and change my color. So I chained up one, I'm cutting my yarn and then I'm gonna pull that through and pull that tight. Okay, now I'm going to grab my new color I'm going to go into any chain one space. I'll just go right into this one because I told you if you're not changing color to go into this one. So we'll all start in the same spot and I will hook this new color on and pull that through and then chain up three. So yarn over, pull through one, two, and three. And now we're going to put a double crochet into the same uh, space here. So uh, put yarn over, go into the same chain one space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so now it looks like there's two double crochet in there because the chain up three counts as a stitch. Now we are going to chain two, so yarn over, pull through, one, and two. We're gonna skip over these double crochets here and go into this next chain one space, and we're going to put two double crochet in there. So yarn over, go into the chain one space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And again, yarn over, go back into that same chain one space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. And then chain two. So yarn over, pull through, one, and two. And we're just gonna repeat that around. So put two double crochet into the next chain one space, and then chain two, one and two. And then hop to the next chain one space 
and put two double crochet in there. So again, you'll have 16 double crochets and uh, eight chain two spaces. And then I'll meet you up at the end of this round. We'll go on to round four together. When you're finishing this round, make sure to chain two and then slip stitch to the beginning chain three of this round here. One, two, three, right at the top here, just insert your hook, then yarn over and pull it through and through, okay, for a slip stitch. Now if you're not changing color, slip stitch into this next stitch and into this chain two space and chain up three and go on to round four with me, but I'm going to change color here. So I'm just going to chain one here, cut this yarn, pull that through and pull tight. I'm going to insert my hook into any chain two space, so I'll go right into here and pick up my new color. Okay, and I'm going to hook that on my hook and pull that through and like I said, chain up three. So yarn over and pull through, one, two, and three. And now we need to put two double crochet into the same chain two space. So yarn over, go into the same chain two space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So now it looks like there's three double crochet in there because that chain up three counts as a stitch. Now I'm going to chain two, so yarn over, pull through, one and two, and we're gonna hop over to this next chain two space right here and we're gonna start making our corner shape so we are going to put three double crochet in here so yarn over go into this chain two space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two so one two and three and then we are going to uh, chain two so yarn over, pull through, one, two, and we're going to put three more double crochet in that same space. So kind of scoot these over and put three more double crochet in there. So one, two, and three. And that is our first corner. Now we're gonna chain two, one, two, hop to the next chain two space right here, and we're going to put three double crochets in there for our side. So one, two, and three. Then we're gonna chain two, one, two, hop to the next chain two space and make our corner stitches. And that is three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet, all in the same chain two space. So three double crochet, chain two, and going back in for three more double crochet. And like I had said, you should, uh, if you need to, uh, scoot these over so you can have room for all six of these stitches. So now, going on to the next step, we're going to chain two, one, two, and put three double crochet into this next chain two space. One, and two, and three. Then chain two, one, two, make your corner stitches into this next chain two space. So you know what to do, just put three double crochet, chain two, and then three more double crochet, all in that same chain two space. Okay, then chain two, and then hop to the next chain two space right here and put three double crochet in there for the side. Then chain two, one, two, and make your corner, your last corner here in this last chain two space that's available. So that is three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. Okay, then we'll have to still chain two after we finish this corner here straggler is getting in the way. There we go. And then we're going to, there is my chain two, we're going to slip stitch to the beginning chain up three of this round. So right in here, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through. 
So now you have your square shape. You can see here your corners and everything. Kind of got to stretch it out, kind of make it a square. So now we can go right into uh, round number five. Uh, if you are not changing, well, regardless, if you're changing color or not, fasten off anyway, because we're going to start this next round in a corner. So chain one, cut this, pull this through and pull it tight. Insert your hook into any corner space. Okay, so I'm just going to go right into this next corner here and I'm going to grab my new color. I'm all going on with blues today here. And we are going to go on to round five. We're going to chain up three. So yarn over, pull through. One, two, three. And that counts as our first uh, double crochet of this round. And then we are going to double crochet into the same chain two space. So yarn over, go into this corner. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over and pull through two loops. Then we're going to chain two, so yarn over, pull through, one and two, and we're going to put two more double crochet back into that same chain two space because that is our corner. So put two double crochet in there. Okay, so essentially it looks like two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet in the corner. Now we are going to chain three, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. And then we're going to put two double crochet into the next chain two space. So right in this chain two space here, we're going to put two double crochet. So one and two. And then we're going to chain three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three. Hop to the next chain two space and we're going to put two double crochets in there. So one and two. Super simple. Then we're going to uh, chain three. One, two, three. And now we're in the corner chain two space right here. We are going to put two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. So just our corner stitches. So one and two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet. One and two. Okay, so round five is super simple, uh, almost like a traditional granny uh, stitch using only two double crochet in these spaces. So now chain three, one, two, three, hop to the next chain two space here and put two double crochet in there. So one and two. Then chain three, one, two, three, hop to the next chain two space here and put two double crochet in there. Okay, then chain three, one, two, three. And now we're in the corner stitches, or the corner chain two space, we have to make our corner stitches. So that's two double crochet, one and two. Then chain two, one, two. And then two more double crochet in there. Okay, so just repeat that around. Uh, and if you need to, refer to the written pattern. But I'm just gonna uh, go making mine for the rest of these two sides and this last corner. And then I'll meet you up at the end of this round and we'll go on to round six together. All right, when you're finishing round five, you want to make sure you chain these three and then slip stitch to the beginning chain up three of this round here. One, two, three, right in here. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and through. Now, if you're not changing color and going on to round six, you want to slip stitch into this next stitch and into this chain two space of the corner and chain up three, go on to round six with me. But I am going to fasten off this color and change it. So I'm gonna chain one, cut the yarn, pull it through and pull tight. I'm going to insert my hook into the chain two of the corner and pick up my new color and hook that on my hook and pull that through. And then I'm going to chain up three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. Now, for round six, we want to put a, uh, we're gonna repeat our corners just like we did the uh, round five. So double crochet into the same stitch, or same space here, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we want to chain two, so yarn over, pull through, one and two. And then we want to put two more double crochet into that same corner. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And again, one more double crochet. 
<clears throat> okay, now we want to put a double crochet between these two double crochets right here. So yarn over, go in between these posts, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. <coughs> then you want to put uh, three double crochet into this chain three space. So yarn over, go into this chain three space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's one, two, and three. Then we want to put a double crochet between these two posts right here. So yarn over, go in between them, yarn over and pull them th that through, then yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we want to put three double crochet in this chain three space. Okay, so one, two, and three. And then again, we want to put a double crochet between these two double crochets. So yarn over, go in between the posts, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and then in the next chain three space, we want to put three double crochet in there. So one, two, and three. And just like we did on the other side, we want to put a double crochet between these two double crochets. So yarn over, go in between the posts, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And now we're in the corner chain two space, and we're going to put our corner stitches. So that is two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. One, two, one, two, and one, two. Super simple. So now we're just going to repeat what we did on this side for this side. So I'll show you again. We're going to put a double crochet between these two double crochets. Then we're going to put three double crochets in the chain three space. Then we're going to put a double crochet between these two double crochets. And then we're going to put three double crochets in the next chain three space. And then we're going to put a double crochet between these two double crochets. And then we're going to put three double crochets in this next chain three space. And then we're going to put a double crochet between these two double crochets, just between the posts. And now we're in the corner, next corner here, we're going to put two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. And then just repeat what we've been doing on the sides. So just finish off this, uh, the last two sides in this last corner here, and then I'll meet you up and uh, we will be finishing our square. All right, I'm just finishing this round here. Just got to put my double crochet between these two stitches. And then we want to slip stitch to the beginning chain up three of this round. So one, two, three, right here. Just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through. At this point, I am going to fasten off, but you do not have to. You can go on to making uh, your square a little bigger. There is actually, in the written pattern, uh, there is a round 6A, which you could do as your last round, and then there is uh, rounds 7 through 14. You can make this as big as you want. There's um, options for a 7-inch square, an 8-inch square, and a 10-inch square, and a 12-inch square. So you can go on to making more rounds reading the written pattern, but I'm going to fasten off here after round 6. So just uh, chain up 1, and then cut that yarn. Pull that through and pull it tight. Grab your yarn needle right away and sew in your ends. And I always say that in every video, I'm going to keep saying it too. Sew in all your ends uh, as you go or after you finish a square, just so that you don't have to do it at the end of your project. And you know what? I actually saw uh, somebody made a, a poncho out of theirs. It's so cool. So I think I'm. I might want to do a granny square poncho one day so um, you know you can make these make your squares and do whatever you want with them so thank you so much for watching that was 150 granny square so have a great rest of your day everybody and as always happy hooking